Hello, I'm Supriya Ebenezer from India, and today I will present on future trends. Allograft bone blocks combined with GBR, a challenging choice to reduce morbidity for lateral ridge augmentation of atrophic sites. We all know the criteria for successful implant placement, the presence of adequate bone surrounding an implant, the ability to place an implant in the correct three-dimensional position, primary stability, and our results should be stable over time. If we have a patient who presents with the following clinical picture, it is but obvious to us that the patient requires bone grafting. This becomes much more clear when we see the CBCT. We cannot place implants without bone augmentation. The ITI has provided a decision tree to choose between whether we go in for a simultaneous approach or a staged approach. The factors include crestal width, the defect morphology, and the ability to place the implant in the correct three-dimensional position. With our patient here, we see that the defect morphology is not favorable and the crest width is minimal, hence we would not be able to place an implant in the correct position. Hence, we choose a staged approach. We have several options for regeneration of large horizontal defects. Particulate bone graft with or without a membrane, block graft with or without a membrane, the use of the ridge split technique, the use of growth factors with particulate graft material, 3D printed scaffolds. The ITI tells us that we can achieve successful results when we use a particulate graft material with a membrane for horizontal ridge augmentation. However, when there are large defects 